Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I wanted to review the Louis Vuitton Speedy 30. And the reason why I wanted to review this bag is because I realized I've pretty much reviewed every other bag in my collection except for this one. And it totally is worth a review because some people love it and some people hate it. So I thought it would be a really good opportunity for me to um, let you guys know what my opinions are on the bag, all the pros and cons, and yeah, just my general overall experience with the bag. Here she is here. Um, this one is obviously just the standard Speedy 30 um, in the monogram print uh, canvas and this one here is from the year 1991 so she is classified as vintage um, and I ended up purchasing her off eBay through an eBay bid I that's pretty much where I get all of my designer handbags and the reason why I wanted to add the Speedy 30 to my collection is because I have previously owned the Speedy 25 also vintage um, and I found it was such a cute bag, such a classic, you could dress it up, you could dress it down, but the only thing was the Speedy 25 was just a little bit too small for me, so I knew that um, I really wanted to add the 30 to my collection. And yeah, obviously there are some signs of wear, but considering the age of it, I think the previous owner must have um, just been really gentle with this bag because yeah, it's still in really, really good condition. So a little bit of history on the Speedy 30. Why is it such a classic? Um, you know, considering it hasn't really been on trend or in fashion for the last few years, why are people still buying them? Um, and it's just because they are a Louis Vuitton classic. It was the first, correct me if I'm wrong guys, because I'm just going off memory here, but I believe it was the first sort of handbag that Louis Vuitton ever did because they always did larger pieces of luggage. Um, and I think it was released in 1930. So yeah, it's been around for a long time. So many celebrities have been seen with this bag over the years. They're coming out now in so many new colorways and um, different materials and yeah so I mean maybe not the monogram or the Damier sort of print you probably don't see around as much. The new colorways are look so cool. I especially love the black littler um, speedy. I will insert a picture but I absolutely love that bag. It's so crazy that it is the same style as this yet it looks so edgy and so on trend. I absolutely love it. Even like the other day my partner and I walked down to the local butcher to get some meat and there was an old lady standing out the front with the Speedy 25 and I just thought it was so nice that no matter what age you are um you know everyone can wear a Speedy and everyone can rock it so I really do respect this bag so it's going to be very hard to talk about the cons of this bag but there are some that I have which is why I am looking to sell it um but that's only because I want a crossbody strap, but I'll get into all of that. So let's talk about the pros of this bag. Um, extremely versatile. So this one here can be dressed up or dressed down. There is so much inspo on Pinterest on how to wear this bag and how to style it. Personally, if I wear this bag to work, I've worn it with boots and heels and nice coats and it always looks really nice, but I always make sure when I'm dressing it up, I put an organizer in there to help keep its structure and its shape because I feel like that really just um, elevates the look and really does make it look a bit more put together. And then when it comes to more casual style, I absolutely love taking out the organizer, letting it do its thing, letting it have that natural kind of slouch to it. That is the versatility of the style. And then there's the versatility of the size of it. So you can easily just carry your everyday essentials in here. Um, and then if you wanted to fit in a water bottle or even your lunch for the day, you could literally fit it all in here. And then to go even further, if you had to get on a plane and go somewhere, this could easily be your carry-on luggage. It could fit a jumper, it could fit all of your yeah, essentials. Honestly, guys, this is a bottomless pit and it's because of the depth of it um, that it's kind of deceivingly big. It doesn't look huge, but when you, like, especially on you, and they never look big, but yeah, they just fit so much. So that's the first pro. The second pro is obviously the Louis Vuitton canvas. It's so incredibly durable um, and it's timeless. So um, you can use it as an absolute workhorse 
guys this is from 1991 from before I was born like it is how old is that this is like over 30 years old and look at it can you believe that like yeah there's obviously some signs of wear here you know this is sort of folding up here but look at the zip like it's insane and look at the canvas look at the beautiful even brown sort of honey patina on it the other great thing about this bag is that there's not a lot of hardware on it so no matter whether or not you wear white gold whether you wear silver whether you wear rose gold this will always look good with your outfit because there is a little bit of um, hardware but it kind of blends in with the brown leather so yeah that's always good there's nothing worse than getting a bag and not being able to pair it with some outfits or some jewelry because the hardware is so visible so they're the pros really versatile durable and um it kind of does all just come back to versatility and durability for me. If you had a Speedy in your collection, you would not be mad about it. And it is very hard for me to look at that and think, oh, do I want to sell it? I honestly go, I flip flop all the time, but I keep reminding myself, I love the Speedy. I'm not getting rid of the Speedy. Um, I still want one in my collection. I just simply want the cross body strap. So that's something, that's a decision you will have to make when you're buying one. Um, if you're someone like me that always likes to sling it over your shoulder because you generally have your hands full with other stuff or if you're someone who always likes to carry something in the crook of your arm or just have it down beside you then yeah you just need to work out which one you will go for. I did actually buy a crossbody strap for this because I was like that's all I need but when I hooked it onto the sides I'll show you guys. Now this is this one I was just trying because I generally use this strap here it's just from Etsy. Um, it's the sort of demi-air kind of color, but I, the reason I got this one is because I generally use it for my little Louis Vuitton pochette. So I just tried it out just out of curiosity because if I was to do this, I would obviously get a different color strap, but I just wanted to try out doing the crossbody because I've seen a lot of girls do this, um, especially on Pinterest, a lot of girls rock it, but I felt like there was a lot of strain on those parts down there. Um, maybe not, but I just felt like the weight wasn't completely even and it puts actually, not even on that part, it puts the strain on the canvas part here. So, I mean, it's doable. It does re look really good, but I was just worried of, um, because I am someone that would probably always wear a crossbody, am I going to damage it? So I think I'm better off just selling it while it's in really beautiful condition and using that money to get the, um the speedy with the crossbody strap and then obviously the last pro will be when you see how much fits in this bag um, it honestly can fit everything you need and then as for the cons of this bag obviously the first con for me is that it doesn't have the option of a crossbody strap um, that's not going to be a con for everyone so don't even worry if you're someone who doesn't like to wear your bags crossbody but for me it is major um, yeah, like I said, I like to have my hands free and having a crossbody strap is pretty much crucial when it comes to the bags that I like to have in my collection. Um, other than that, oh, the other con I would say is that for the sheer size of what can fit in here, I find that the opening is too small. So yeah, I just find that getting in and out of this bag with ease um, is quite difficult and that is because if it had the cross body strap, I reckon I'd be fine because I would have two hands. That is the beauty of having a bag on your shoulder is that it's right there, you've got both hands. With this one, you're kind of using one hand. And something that I've noticed is other brands that have sort of done not a copy, but you know, of the Speedy, like um, I'm pretty sure the Gucci have like the Boston bag and so does Celine. A lot of the zips come down the side a little bit and I can see how much benefit that would be if this zip came slightly around and down. So then when you open it, it came right open. That would be a game changer. But um, maybe Louis Vuitton didn't want to ruin the aesthetic of the bag by doing that because it definitely... Um, makes it you know it's obviously not as dressy when the zip comes all the way down the side and they're actually the only cons for me it's just accessibility but in terms of what fits in there and the style and the look of it 
um, I've only got good things to say about it. So they're the pros and cons of the bag. Now another thing I did want to mention about the Speedy is because it is a classic and because it has been around for such a long time, you have the option of whether or not you want to buy it brand new or, you know, a couple of years old. Oh, there's a hair in my face. <laughs> or if you want to buy it, um, vintage because they've been around for so long you basically get that choice now a lot of people don't like to buy vintage um, personally i only like to buy vintage and not only from price point but even if i had the option of a you know and i'm talking they have to be vintage in good condition so if i had the option of a brand new speedy and then in you know monogram or if i had the option of a in perfect condition speedy from the 90s or the 80s then i would always go the vintage one and this is totally my personal opinion but i've never owned a brand new louis Tom piece so i can't fully say that um they're all like this, but I have watched so many reviews now on just multiple Louis Vuitton pieces, especially the Speedy 30. I've watched, because before I bought this, I watched so many videos and bag reviews on um, YouTube, and so many of them were having issues. So, um, like, one of them, one of the handles, like, she went to the store, she bought it brand new, one of the handle coat was um, sort of going a nice sort of patina brown and the other one wasn't and it's because they used different like one of the leathers was more treated than the other um and she got it brand new from the store so she had issues with that so she ended up having to take it back another lady i watched um on the inside of the handle it was all um flaking up and peeling just from use and she'd only used it for a year and a half and it was flaking and it was a brand new Louis Vuitton bag this one here like I said is like 30 years old and there is absolutely no flaking or anything it's honestly in perfect condition it's curling up a bit at the side here my speedy 25 was from the 80s and the leather was slightly thicker um, and that's these you know these didn't flip up on that bag and maybe as time's gone on Louis Vuitton has made the leather thinner I'm not sure why but I find that the quality of this bag and I've honestly there's just no issues and that's why I tend to go um, vintage is because I personally think that maybe back in the day they put a little more time and effort and care into the pieces and maybe they used um, better quality materials but that is totally my personal opinion and just observation of what I've seen on the internet I could be wrong so in terms of the style of the speedy you might not see as you know many people wearing it anymore um, for me it's not a question of whether it's on trend or not I feel like the speedy is always going to be in style because it is such a classic but I guess in terms of trends I wouldn't say that the speedy is on trend and probably hasn't been for like the last five years but that's not to say that it won't be on trend again like you saw what happened with the Christian Dior um, saddlebags I remember seeing them on eBay a couple of years ago and thinking who would buy them they are so ugly and then all of a sudden it just exploded and they were everywhere and the vintage ones were going for like thousands of dollars and I'm just kicking myself that I never bought any when I saw them on eBay for super cheap um, and it's all it's all about what you wear with it like I have seen this bag look so cool and so trendy um, because of what people have worn with it so if you're someone who's contemplating on getting this bag but you're worried that it's not trendy enough or not cool enough um, I promise you this one you can make cool or you can make dressy uh, it is so versatile like I said and it is really up to you it depends on how you style it um, I, go on Pinterest and look up speedy 30 outfits look at the array of styles on there like there are so many different trends over the years and um, it looks great in every single one okay now it's time to see what fits inside now the firstly what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the organizer out and then I'm just going to fill it with what I would generally fill it up with um, on a normal work day and I'll show you what it looks like and then I'll do the same thing again but with the organizer so you can see the difference in how it looks um, so this organizer again I just get from KD Australia um, if you're from America or even the UK I'm pretty sure Samorga is the one that 
others generally go for but KD Australia is best for Aussies I think because of you know obviously quicker shipping time and a bit cheaper like I said haven't been using the organizer at all lately because I love the slouch of this bag so now I'm going to fill it with my everyday work essentials so this here is my life planner it is just like a large big oh there's hair on it <laughs> it is just like a large big diary um, if you've got a large sort of agenda this is like an a5 size I would say maybe even slightly bigger but that fits in here fine I just put it in like this and it slides in the next thing I have is my Louis Vuitton wallet this one is vintage um, it's in the black epi leather and it goes perfectly with my black um, epi noe bag but yeah I'm absolutely loving having a wallet lately and keeping coins and everything so that fits in there like that um, I then just have my car keys with the um, Louis Vuitton four key holder my Dior roll-on perfume this is the travel roll-on size guys it's amazing I absolutely love roll-on perfumes whether I'm traveling or not um, I just think that you get the best bang for your buck because you're not spritzing it all the time you simply use it a little bit and I find yeah I use less perfume but I still you know you can still smell just as nice without having to drown yourself in perfume I've got my um, sunglasses case I've got some Appel's hand sanitizer I've got some more of the Appel's um, this is just like a skin lotion I've got some mints yeah that's pretty much everything that I put in it um, if I'm going to work that day or oh, and usually a water bottle as well so that's everything in there see that slouch I love that I love how there's like the pool there um, some people hate that I love it and yeah that's everything in there guys that is heavy I'm like trying to hold it up but as you can see everything fits in there fine look how much more room there is too there is so much more room in there I haven't even touch the sides like everything in there it comes up to about here like there's still so much more room so that's um with no organizer in it and I absolutely love that look wearing that casually with this slouch I love so much so now that everything's in there I'm just going to quickly take it all out I'll put it into this organizer and put it back in just so you guys can see the difference so there you have it I've put everything in the organizer um, like that and then I'm just going to slip it in the bag I did just want to show you guys how I like to organize this um, as you can see I could probably fit a water bottle down the side there um, standing up but yeah I've just got my diary in there I've got all my I've got all my perfumes and my um, moisturizer in there and then all these little pockets just hold everything else and then my sunglasses case and my wallet so yeah everything fits in there really nicely and I'm just going to slip it in the bag that's everything in the bag in the organizer much neater I know so when I open it it pops up quite nicely just like that and then there's the opening there and then when I shut it and hold it up keeps its shape a lot more with the organizer in there not only that it's really organized so I can find stuff so much easier that is the one thing it's like do I want to look good or do I want better like functionality so when I wear it um, without the organizer in it I love the look of it but I oh, it really is a bottomless pit and I've struggled to find things which is actually why I've been using this Louis Vuitton pochette inside there when I don't have the organizer in um, that way if I need to find anything that's kind of little and that will go missing I can throw it in here so I just grab that out and then I look through this obviously much easier and more organized and more structured with the organizer inside um, it can fit so much but I actually find that if you need to fit more in here take the organizer out the organizer is much more structured but you do lose a lot of space um, I find that across the board like whenever I have an organizer in a bag I tend to lose a bit of space so yeah I thought I would just show you a couple of photos on the screen of how I've previously styled the bag like I said before I am more inclined to style this in more of a casual way and it's because it isn't a kind of trendy bag or the in bag right now I find a way that I can sort of get around that little hurdle is really dress it down and wear it really casually and it makes it more of a statement piece so i hope this handbag review helped you guys out if you are looking to either get this bag or you already own it and you just wanted to see someone else's sort of personal opinions and experience on the bag um, i hope i answered any questions that you may have had lingering in terms of whether or not to buy the bag it is just a classic 
good all-round bag and Remy is just about done with me filming. If you do have any more questions about the bag or there was something I didn't cover, please just leave a comment below. I always read all of my comments and reply to all of them. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and to subscribe to my channel. As you know, it helps me out so much. Um, and Remy is now crying at the door to be let out. So with that, I will say goodbye and I will see you in my next video. Thanks guys.